Remember one of Obama's first promises on his campaign trail that when he became president, he was going to shut down Guantanamo Bay. Over 100 days later, and he's still having trouble with that, this week, Congress and the Senate rejected his request for $80 million that is needed to shut down the base. You know, you know Guantanamo Bay, famous for torture, human rights abuses. I don't get it. Guys, close down the base. It's the 21st century. Torture is wrong. With me to shed more light on the issue is Base Commander Rear Admiral Jeff Freeman. Good evening, Jeff. Evening, Darren. It's a pleasure to be on your show. I never miss it. Uh, we only broadcast in South Africa. We're the U.S. military, Darren. We're always watching, especially you. Just kidding, Big D. Friend of mine records it for me. Uh, but I had you going there for a minute, didn't I? Yeah, I was. I was, I was hmm. But uh, how can the U.S. declare itself a champion of democracy and human rights and then employ torture techniques learned by the Viet Cong? We had to learn something from Vietnam, Darren, and that was it. But those good old days are gone now. President Obama said we can't use torture techniques no more. These so-called interrogation techniques include sleep deprivation and waterboarding or simulated drowning. What are you guys thinking? Aren't you supposed to uphold people's rights? Well, Darren, the war on terror is like baking a cake. Okay. And you can't bake a cake without breaking some eggs. It just has to be done. Once those folks decided to attack America, they lost all claim on their rights. So what you're saying is that human rights only apply to American humans. This is a war, Darren. Besides, like Cheney said, torture is defined as an act that leaves a lasting physical and psychological effect on a subject. You can examine any of our sleep-deprived, slightly damp inmates, and you'll see that there are no lasting effects of any kind. How can you justify the use of waterboarding? I'm sorry? The use of waterboarding to get information. Oh, is that what it was for? Hell, we were just bored. Thank you for clearing that up, Darren. So it was used. Hell yeah, it was used, and a good thing too. But doesn't that qualify as torture? Sometimes you have to do bad things to keep the world safe. And sometimes you can't play nice. Terrorists don't play nice, Darren. Hang on a second. Is there actual proof that these interrogation techniques, as Dick Cheney calls them, have yielded information that has saved an American life? Guess you better ask Tricky Dick about that. We's just following orders. And you were ordered to torture people. Interrogate. And no, I was ordered to bake a damn cake. You're also under fire for playing loud music as a form of torture. And artists like Massive Attack and David Gray have come out and uh, said that's not on. Well, they would. Have you heard that crap? You can't barn dance to Massive Attack, can you? Well, then it ain't music. And you know what? Even if you play some of that stuff soft, it is torturous. But I think the most effective music torture we learned was from one of your guys. Ah, Vota Vasson. Uh, no, that ain't it. Eugene de Kock. Uh, no, uh, Bork Van Blerk. Bork Van Blerk? Yeah, that De La Rey shit? Damn scary. <laughs> Gives me the willies. I see. Uh, is there still torture happening at the base as we speak? Interrogation, Darren. Yeah, but it's mild stuff mostly. Mild. We make them watch High School Musical. Two days of that and they'll admit to anything. They'll admit that Thomas Jefferson is their daddy. Aha! Well, thanks for coming on to the show, Admiral Freeman. Rear Admiral Darren. Sorry? Rear Admiral. Uh, why, why, why are you a Rear Admiral? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Right, of course you would. That's your... Thanks, Rear Admiral Jeff Freeman.